What is up guys, the Bay Games here, and today I'm going to be showing you high ground strategy in Mob of the Dead. Hopefully, I'll help you guys to go to high grounds much easier and faster. And my first video of high ground strategy in Mob of the Dead is in the Golden Gate Bridge. Of course, I have more strategies, and I'll be uploading that in this week, hopefully, like 5 or 4 spots probably, that I do recommend in Alcatraz to and uh, even other tutorials like how to get Juggernaut in round 1 probably and like in round 10 or 15 have everything done like you know plane, uh, the golden spork, the hell's redeemer, all perks, at least 8000 points you know the two wonder weapons, a blunder gats and an acid gats so I do think that's going to help you a lot and even more tutorials if you want, just leave in the comments. Now, I shoot this place for my first video because I do think this is the easiest spot to go at least to round 40s. After that, I do have to admit, it starts to get a little bit harder because there are no traps, which means that the only way you can kill is with the Hell's Redeemer, with your weapons, and you know, with, uh, with your Spork, with your Golden Spork. Now, if you don't know how to get the Hell's Redeemer, Basically, you have to get the Hell's Retriever and do other steps after that. So there should be a link in the description and an annotation in the video if you want to see that tutorial. Now, the Hell's Redeemer is actually quite good because it's one hit kill until round 40s, maybe even 50s. We still are not sure. No one confirmed yet, I believe. But I can confirm that at least round 41 is one hit kill. So that's unbelievable. Now, the Golden Spork. The Golden Spork is one hit kill until round 33. After that, it starts to get two kill, two hits, I mean, uh, until round 40, I believe. Um, and after that, it starts to get three, kill, three hits, I mean, and then more and more. So, But still, it's quite good because until round 33, you can always knife and just get, you know, one hit and you, you kill all the zombies like that. So that's unbelievable. So if you don't know how to get the Golden Spork, there should be a link in the description and an annotation in the video. Now, two Blundercats. That's really important, you know, to have them in the Golden Gates Bridge. One of them to kill Prudas, you know, and they spawn a lot. Uh, I think, I, I'm not entirely sure, but I think sometimes I was actually killing like five Brutus per round. I'm not sure if it was five or four, but that's unbelievable. So basically the blunder cats is to kill Brutus, you know. And the acid cats is most of it to if you are trapped, you know, you know, is one of the easiest ways to basically get out of that corner or wherever you are trapped. So that's you know most of it for that. Now the you know how to have two blunder cats that's actually quite easy and you just have to do a few steps, you know. Uh, so there should be a link in the description and an annotation in the video for that too. If you don't know how to, you know, come to the Golden Gates Bridge, once again, a link in the description and an annotation in the video. So I think if you have these things that I mentioned here, you should be set for high grounds in the Golden Gates Bridge. Now, don't try to go, you know, higher than 40s like 45s or 46 you know I don't think and I don't recommend you guys pass that rounds unless you want to waste like I don't know like 30 to 40 minutes in round 50s then if you want then of course go ahead and just do that because it's not risky at all like you can just keep staying here or you know forever almost the only thing is that it's going to start to take a lot of time uh, unless unless you actually kill um, all the zombies with one hit with Elves Redeemer at least to round 100. If it is, then you know I really advise that, and I recommend this strategy for high grounds. Now, um, you know if it isn't, then just go to the cafeteria. I think that's the best place. So I shall have a strategy for that tomorrow uh, or the next day. I'm not sure. I have a few others like I mentioned before, but you know I, I do think that this is the best strategy uh, in Marvel that. And as you can see, I have the four perks that are Double Tap 2.0, the Electric Cherry, Juggernaut, and Quick Reload. Now, there is one left that is Deadshot, I agree, 
but I don't really recommend it. I think it's one of the worst perks they ever, you know, invented in zombies. It just doesn't help you at all. Especially if you have the two wonder weapons. I guess the blundercats, I guess it might help you a little bit to do headshots. But, you know, you just take your time, just aim to the head, and that's it. So, anyways, guys, um, thanks for, you know, watching. Hopefully, I helped you, you know, to go to high grounds faster and easier in this map. And if you want to see more high ground strategies, just subscribe. And uh, if you want to support my video and my channel, just, you know, like, share, and, you know, favorite. And, uh, yeah, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this strategy. Thanks for watching. And I'm off.